Hello. Hello, viewers. So, again, after a long time, I'm uh, coming up with a video. I uh, hope everyone will like it because uh, it's on a very, very important section. And there is nothing but because the VRN stands for Voltage Regulator Module of CPU. I have been seeing, uh, see like uh, many viewers, many viewers, uh, you are watching my videos and uh, I am really glad that almost uh, my some video is reaching out to lack or I think probably it has crossed lack, lack of views, lack of viewers. Thanks, thanks to every viewer for that and hope this particular video will uh, break all the records of the previous one and uh, those who are into the line, this particular video will also help out a lot to troubleshoot the laptop and the desktop motherboards. Uh, the concept what I am telling out is uh, for combine both the laptop and the desktop because the principle as far as the VRM section is concerned it is almost the same as far as the laptop and the desktop is concerned. Now just we will see a, a block diagram over here and the block diagram you can see the main heading says voltage regulator module over here there is an IC which is called as the VRM IC. Now, as we know, in the olden days, you might have seen sometimes the new fellows who have come out of this field will not know, but in earlier boards, say like Pentium 3s and Pentium 2s, uh, we used to uh, use jumpers to set out the voltage level, CPU voltage required level. So, that has been removed up as far as the current uh, concepts are concerned. And now the concept of VID stands for voltage identification. This VID stands for V stands for voltage and ID stands for voltage identification. So there are some of the VRM has 5, 6, 7, 8. So as we are going forward, the VID number of VIDs are increasing. So what is this VID? VID is nothing but the signal which comes out from the C2 in a binary format. Binary we know in form of zeros and one, and it comes to the VRM. And with the help of a binary language, this says to the CPU, this says to the VRM that what is the demand or voltage requirement of the CPU. So once this particular VID reaches to this uh, VRM IC, that is the CPU voltage regulator IC. Now, once this reaches out, it drives up two pin, mainly two pin, they are called as the drive high and the drive low. Now, drive high and drive low, this particular two pins, they drive the two gates, two gates of two feds, you can see. The two fed, one of the fed is connected to the 12 volt supply. So, the 12 volt supply, you can see that uh, the 12 volt reaches to the drain of the fed. And the source comes out in the center point where another drain is connected out and finally the source is connected to the ground. So there are two FET, one FET is connected to the ground is called as drive low or the drive low FET and the one which is connected to the supply is called as drive high FET. Now we know how the transistor functions. You can see what happens in the base. You can see this particular waveform which has been taken up from the CRO. It opens up for some time, it closes up, it opens up for some time, it closes up, opens up for some time and then closes up. And similarly you can see what happens in drive low. They work in a push-pull action. What is a push-pull action? It is once this is opening, you can see at the same time once this is open, this is closed, once this is closed, this is open. So by closing and opening the two gates, this voltage is been driven up over here. So once this gate opens of this particular fed, the gate opens and this 12 volt, depending upon the time, fraction of second of time, how much this gate opens up, some part of this 12 volt will reach out to this particular center point. And once it reaches out, the next function comes up, up is the drive low. What is the job of drive low? Once this opens up, whatever the voltage has been formed over here, will be drowned, will be grounded up to zero. So this is the function of my drive high and drive low. And once we move forward, this joining point, so just imaginary thing, what happens in this joining point? In this joining point, what happens out is, sometime, once this voltage is over here, 
this voltage is formed up and once there is no voltage it has been drained by this particular thing whatever the voltage is over here it has been drained by the low drive it forms up a low signal so a high low high low high low signal gets formed out a voltage gets formed out at this particular point obviously this is not 12 volt this is not 12 volt this is lower than the 12 volt it depends upon how long you open this particular gate if you open the gate for maybe one microsecond so for one microsecond maybe this 12 volt comes out over there in form of maybe two or three volt and similarly this is again been drowned by the low drive and it is made out zero over here so what we get over here is nothing but again a pulse of volt this we send it through an inductance so every motherboard desktop or laptop it's a very very important that you will have a inductance over here in a desktop you generally find a coil type of inductance in case of a laptop you find generally a box type of inductance the inductance will be there and from the inductance you will find a very low ohms resistance i'll tell you later on once i come to the circuit diagram what is the use of that and uh, after that you will find some series of capacitors uh, series of capacitors may be forms of in a desktop uh, generally it is formed of around say like 15 to 20,000 microfarad if it is a electrolytic type and if it is a aluminium electrolytic type that is a solid state capacitor what we call as this is then the total microfarad is around maybe uh, 4 to 5,000 microfarad so the capacitors are over here and you can see that after the inductance and after this filtration this particular waveform which was there before the inductance after the inductance and after the capacitor you find this goes out to a straight line so this is what is my basic block diagram and this is how my VRM section works out so just to repeat up again my CPU sense of the VID depending upon the VID the drive hook, drive high and drive low as are been driven up by this particular my VRM IC and once this VRM IC drives my drive high and drive low the sort of pulse gets formed out before the inductance because the voltage forms and goes forms and goes and forms and goes and finally after the uh, my inductance and after my filtering I get a straight line so this is nothing but the voltage which is required by the CPU now I just show uh, some of the slides over here this is nothing but the chart of VID whenever you open up any technical details of the CPU